<laughs> Silly ass fucking beat. Fuck out, let's do this shit. Hey yo, I'm going in. Oh, yeah. I stand tall with shit going down. Statue, I'm the coldest motherfucker around. Dash you, your girlfriend steady suck me down. Vacuum, my shit suck these niggas in their town. Bathroom, I can spit the line, then pause for effect. Pause, do you guess and then what happened next? Pause, yes, in reality, I'm taking another breath. Breathe, nigga, guess I got a reference to flex. I'm yes, big rest on the skinny frame. Jumbling, big booty, call it Humpty Dumpty. Getting drunk, homeboy, gets to mumbling. Later on, me and Miss Humpty tumbling. Going in, going hard, make the rain dollars. Rain by the rain, go make a holler. She a ghetto bitch, a sister drink in my scholar. Really, that's how she said it. I still got a bottle. I guess this be the power I'm supposed to say. AKA get bent over by mainstream. What's good, everyone? It's your boy, Token Drew. And we here with another edition of Pack and Unpack. A series where I pack a bowl and unpack some cool shit. But today, we got the blizzle for an episode of Bluffs and Boxes, baby. Yeah, I don't have the gauntlet. It's, uh, as you can tell from previous videos, getting some wear and tear. So I'm only going to use it for special unboxings until I get myself a new one. But you know, I'm going to get myself another one. <laughs> Before we get things started, I want to make sure that you lot know that this channel is not meant for children. This is my weekly disclaimer, telling you lot to watch your kids and watch what they watch because they shouldn't be over here. We smoking, we cussing, and we talking about some expensive shit. So, not kid friendly. YouTube, don't don't mess with me, yo. Real talk. Tell by the shirt today we're we'll wearing boxing. We're going Marvel today, baby. So. Today's one of my favorite characters, but I had to do a little twist on it. I buy a majority of my shit off eBay. And I was looking for a particular Venom statue. And those bastards get pricey, son. So I had to find one for a good price, and then I found one. One that nobody else was selling. If you guys have been on eBay, you know how eBay goes. I only saw this one, so I had to get it. From the movie that would have been decent if they took out this part right here. Yeah, boy. Venom from Spider-Man 3. <laughs> you know, I watched that movie again with the kids. And aside from the shitty acting here and there, if you just cut out that entire emo Parker shit, that movie would be all right. Yeah, they crammed too many villains in there. And yeah, they, they did do Venom dirty. But take that bull crap out, that whole emo Parker bit. But we're not here to review movies. We're here to review statues and figures. So let's go first person mode. All right, everybody, we are back, and here they are. 
in this bitch. I'ma give you all a preview. We be going so hard. I see the, the Avengers sequel. Weezy said he's going in. Shit, a nigga pulling out. Cause I do these tracks. From Diamond Select and Columbia Pictures, Marvel Studios, and the movie Spider-Man 3 comes Venom. So hell yeah. But before we get into the review, you know how we roll, we want to make sure that you lot like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Follow us on our social media pages. Bam. 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 So, so you know how we do over here. Five categories. So first things first, we got detail. All right, so for detail. He has some really good detail. Everything is spot on from his teeth to the whatever it's called on the side of the mouth like the damn dinosaurs in Jurassic Park have to the different lines on his costume. I mean, his detail looks dope as shit. So we're gonna go ahead and give him 20 points for detail. Next up is base. His bass is a bit of a mixed bag for me. Because on the one hand, it's awfully big. Like, I mean, it's big and round and it's kind of heavy. But it is unique as hell. You know, I like how it looks like it's inside of the church. You know, you have the symbiote. 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 You have that shit going up Eddie Brock, you know. I really like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give him 18 points for base. <laughs> Silly ass fucking beat. Fuck it, let's do this shit. Hey yo, I'm going in. Next up is paint. Statue, I'm the coldest motherfucker around. That shit, your girlfriend steady suck me down. Vacuum, my shit suck these niggas in their town. Vacuum. His paint is really good, but there's something about it I just don't like. I feel like his color is too light, though I understand why they had to make him a kind of charcoal black instead of a jet black like he's supposed to be, because they have this symbiote going up his leg, and they wanted to separate the two, so I, I get why they did it. However, it gives him a kind of faded, dusty, old look, you know what I'm saying? Like. He's supposed to be jet black. And I get the art choice, don't get me wrong, but we don't review shit to understand, you know what I'm saying? We're here to keep it real. There's also a couple of bubbles in the paint, like in his ab area, that are a little bit, uh, I mean, you have to look for it to find it. I mean, it's not gonna pop out to you, but it's there. So for those couple imperfections, we're only gonna give him another 18 points for his paint. Next up is Pose. So his Pose is another mixed bag for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, granted, I don't have anything like it, doesn't mean I necessarily like it. You know what I'm saying? What is he doing? He's like doing one of these numbers right here. And it's just, you know, I kind of feel like they're gonna put more emotion behind it, you know? Probably arch his back a bit more to look like he's in anguish and, you know, spread his arms out a bit to where it's like he's roaring or something like that. You know, this, I don't know, man. Like, it does look like he's straining a bit, but it doesn't really look like a character-specific pose. 
So, that being said, we're going to give him a 15 for Pose. Terrorist. Hell yeah, I'm the mainstream terrorist. Running in the fear from the mainstream terror. Your mainstream terrorist, hardcore lyricist, musical hypnotist. And finally, for character accuracy. Radio to a relevant, stopping heavy on the track with my flow in an elephant. It's the remnant of a dynasty of presidents and leaders of hip hop. Real niggas, real blocks, take the way for all these mainstream presidents. So, for his character accuracy, you know. He looks a lot like Venom in the movie, so I can respect that, but I don't like the pose or the color choice. The bass, however, is really good and it feels like it's from the movie. So overall, for his character accuracy, I'm going to say he is, you know, straight four points all across, 16 points. For character actors. You a trendy nigga, for real you look like a faggy ass Benny nigga. Skinny ass rapper, get you some windy niggas on the ground flow. Fuck all you cleanly niggas. Hell nah, nah, gotta And now, for the bonus points. That's what it takes to make it and fake it. Middle finger, fuck the mainstream. Yeah, I'm the mainstream terrorist. Ah. For me, the mainstream terrorist. So for the bonus points. I'm the mainstream terrorist, running in the fear from the mainstream. So overall, I'm going to say that he is a decent figure, decent resin, whatever. You know, he's a good addition for a Venom in my collection, but I kind of feel like he doesn't fill that Venom gap that I was hoping he would. You know, I got him because, you know, not many people's going to go after this one because all of the fans are all butthurt and they hate the third movie. And me, I mean, I don't hate it. You know, it wasn't the best, but shit, I like it better than both of the Andrew Garfield movies. But that's a, another video for another time, I guess. Maybe I'll start talking about movies and shit when I start catching up on all these figures and whatever. But anyway, three points. And my first impression of him, I mean... You know, I, I thought he was kind of small, honestly, at first. When I took him out the box, I thought he was going to be bigger. So, you know. And as I said multiple times in the review, whatever was the phrase I repeated over and over, I can't remember right now because it's some good shit last month. Uh, he is just like, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I, I give him like two points for that first impression, giving him a total of five bonus points, bringing his grand total up to 92 obnoxious, stubborn points anyway. <laughs> He has a higher score than I thought he was going to get. <laughs> and that, my friends, is an A. Alright then, whatever. Scoring system, if you say so. If you, if you say this is an A statue. I mean, though my, though my points say A, and though the numbers say A, I feel like in my heart this is a, a solid B. You know what I'm saying? Like... Numbers don't lie. It's a good scoring statue, but like I said, he does not fill that that gap I wanted him to fill, which means I'm going to have to buy another Venom statue, which means there's going to be another Venom episode, so there you have it. Spoilers for the future. <laughs> but till then, I'm going to take some pictures and get the hell up out of here. I'm your boy, Token Drew. And one day I'll learn to stop stringing sentences together to make it easy, easier for editing. Peace. I can put a dozen lines for the top of the mind before you take a breath on every track. Your wama spaz, every beat with the body back. Last to flow with a molly bass, hold hit from the blunt, you'll take a drag. Take a shot, take a hit, eat that strip, and I'll start to trip. Throw it up like dollar bills. When a piece of meat, bitch, here's my dick. Here's the 31st bar. Every line shape on the 16 again. What's good, everyone? We are back. And here he is.
Got him on a shelf with Spider-Man, of course. So hell yeah. And like I said in my review, though his score gave him an A, I feel like he is a B figure, honestly. If he was a little bit darker, I'd probably like him more. But other than that, I mean, he's still decent. A decent representation of Venom. And he looks good. You know, looks like the movie version. So hell yeah. Have him across from the PlayStation 4 Spider-Man. Uh, I did an episode on that shit a while ago. I don't even remember off the top of my head. But yeah, I found him on eBay. Shout out to the seller who got me this at a good price. Next time, I don't know, let's let's go Ichiban Kuji and back to Dragon Ball. <laughs> but until then, I'm your boy Token Drew. Live up, smoke out, and game on. I'm at this bitch. Thanks for watching. Peace. The block is yours, but the city is mine. Hi.